Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you. So I'm working on Christmas cards. Having some coffee. Enjoying the fire and watching the kitchen on TV in the background and watching the cold iciness outside. Pretty good day so far. Hey, oh, by the way, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. I wanted to introduce you to a, a new way to fold wrapping paper when wrapping presents. This is what it's supposed to look like and I will let you know why mine doesn't look like this when we get done. This was kind of a flop, but I thought this could be a learning time for you as well. You have to cut the length of your wrapping paper three times the width of your package. And then you need your um, gift wrapping paper that you want on the outside plus an accent wrapping paper on the inside. And I'll show you how that's going to work in a second. And then from the, the edge, you're to fold up six times just one on top of the other. And I did realize one of my mistakes was that these creases need to be super sharp. I was just kind of pressing them with my fingers, but I think if I'd have used my fingernail, it would have been better. And then I lost count, so I had to unroll it and figure out how many I was on, and I realized I needed to do one more. Then at this point, you're supposed to start in the middle and cut to the fifth fold. And then I turned it over and then you're supposed to sort of offset the top from the bottom. But I started out where I moved the top up. I decide, so that was my first problem. And then as I begin to fold it, you're supposed to fold the first one under and then kind of pinch this one side and let the other stay flared out. My under wrapping paper, kept shifting and not staying in the cracks and so I was trying to make it work and this was because I didn't crease them very good. So you can tell in a minute I get super irritated and just whack it all off on the bottom and then I start over. So this time I crease it with my fingernail and make it a really good crisp um, fold and I do lose track again and have to recount. And by now of course my paper is not big enough for my gift box, but that's okay. So again, we're starting, the, I turn it over this time before I cut, and then I cut to the fifth row, my fifth crease, straight over. And then I have it on the right side, the correct side. And as I work my way, pinching and Lapping it over, you can tell at the, um, there at the bottom of the paper, see how the blue and the top are not lining up? I don't know what I did. I think I just fiddled with it too much and got kind of frustrated. So I think this looks easy, but my paper might have been too wide or I'm not really sure. The two examples that I watched on YouTube, the paper was smaller, but oh man, this was a flop. You can really tell by looking at the back that I've just got way too many crease lines. So anyway, just I want to encourage you to just give things a try. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. Hey, welcome to snow day number two. Okay, so it's a vlogmas, what, day 16, I think? Why can't I ever keep track? I think it's 16. But we're having a snow day. You can still see this, not a lot of snow. There is ice underneath it, but they just called another snow day. And I've been wrapping presents. I wanted to share with you something super easy and absolutely no money to help decorate up Christmas gifts. Um, I take little bits of leftover wrapping paper we all have that little portion that's just not, um, can't use. And I cut them in strips and then give them a curl. 
and then you just tape them on packages and it like costs nothing and you know I, I always try to make my gifts look pretty but then you put them all stacked under the tree and they get smushed but it doesn't really matter if these get smushed so here's a few examples these two are examples of using a contrasting contrasting uh, type of um, wrapping paper and this one is an example of using the same wrapping paper but if you look close they are just taped on with regular tape in the middles but the curls just go up in a way that you can't even tell so you just take the little strips and just tape them down anyway I think this is a great hack if you call it such a thing um, but I wanted to share that with you for something easy to make your gifts look great and if you have small children it's something they can do they could even instead of just using the scissor method to make them curly they can just wrap them around a pencil or something or even their little finger and that's a good way another way that I found to wrap presents that I'm loving is this is just a ball of twine that I have uh, you can even just use plain white ribbon I just like wrap it around the present take the ends and weave in a few miniature uh, ornaments these are just plastic and these were on either Dollar Tree last year or two years ago or just uh, clearance so this year when you're shopping clearance Christmas stuff you might look for little bitty ornaments like I said they're just plastic and uh, just wrap them around there and again it won't get smashed when it's stacked under the tree because they aren't smashable you know what I mean so anyway those are some of my hacks I think they look kind of cute and you know really simple so all right that's it for now we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish